Hi hey guys, welcome to another episode of whatever this is. I, today I, I thought we'd do something I haven't done for a while, which is an unboxing. Um, often it, I'm doing product reviews or we're doing some sort of build or, or, or some sort of tutorial or something like that. But today it's an unboxing and it's an unboxing of my Christmas present from my wife. And she said to me on Christmas Day, why don't you go put an order in? So it's finally arrived. It arrived yesterday. Very excited. So let's get straight ahead and uh, unpack it. So I've already taken off the tape. I've actually even already taken out the packaging. So uh, forgive me for that one. But I thought you'd only get bored at that. So first out of the box is one of the two books that I ordered. The first one is Flames. Uh, sorry, Empires in Flames. Uh, the Pacific and Far East. Um, uh, not campaign, but um, theatre theater book. Um, it looks pretty good to me. Uh, my only issue is that although it has a history on the fall of Singapore, it doesn't actually have like an army list for it that I can see. Now, I've only just glanced through this, so it might be that I missed it. But once again, the pictures are great. Uh, you know, the army list, the scenarios, they look good. Um, read through one or two scenarios and they look pretty exciting. The artwork's fantastic as always and the pictures. A um, couple of new sort of personalities that you can have in your army. Uh, excuse me. But apart from that, well, actually, I, I, I think it looks like a good book. I'm looking forward to sitting down and reading it in more detail. It gives you, you know, the interesting sort of um, special rules for fighting in the jungle so uh, I'm excited for that and even if it doesn't have an army list for the fall of Singapore I can always use the one in the uh, armies of Britain book so that's the first one quite pleased with that I'll review it at some time in, in more detail the second one is a battle group uh, sorry battlefront Europe no battleground Europe I'll get it right at some point that's a good thing I can't read it on the camera you see that's the problem so anyway, this covers D-Day uh, through to Germany. I'm um, pretty excited. This was, I think, the first one that Warlord uh, released of the um, sort of theatre selector books. Looks like it's got some really interesting scenarios um, that'll be good to do. Um, and yeah, pretty excited about getting into this one as well. Um, as I said, the oldest of the uh, kind of theatre books, but... Uh, I thought it was worth having anyway, and and that now actually means I think I've got all of them. I, I've got Jewels in the Sun for the desert. I've got Ostfront for uh, the east. I've got the Pacific. I've got Europe. Um, am I missing any? Is that just it? Oh, and I've got Germany Strikes for the early war and tank wars. So I think other than version 2 of Bolt Action and the new Armies of uh, Germany book. I'm up to, I'm, I'm there. It's pretty good going. Um, although I have to say, uh, when they bring out Battle of Bulge, that's going to be another one on the list. I don't know how I'm going to keep up. I should have started when they started coming out. But anyway, never, never mind. I, I didn't need them then. Uh, I'm only picking them up now because I just kind of, kind of fancy having them. Um, each of the books came with a particular figure um i particularly like these two i was i was really keen to get these um the battleground europe one comes with a, a british uh cameraman um it's kind of like a news correspondent so i i'm looking forward to getting him painted up i've also got a german one i've got to paint up at some point with a camera so i think that'll be quite fun to do and then with uh empires in flames yep uh you get a um, U.S. Marine Corps guy carrying a machine gun, and I believe he's actually based on a historical figure. Not, I'd ha I need to check who he is before I start giving any information. But, but um, yeah, so they came with him. Uh, right, what else did I get? I got. I thought it's about time. I'm doing desert stuff. Let's get the LRDG truck. I've got um, the LRDG truck. A, and I've got the LRDG B truck. 
Um, they are slightly different, so I'm looking forward to putting those together, and they will be essentially the start of my LRDG Force. A um, couple of extra heads in there, um, more than I actually need for the kit, so I'm thinking I might stick those on, maybe a couple of the Perry's Desert Rats, um, and use those as LRDG, but I'm also going to try get some figures from other companies um, that are more a little bit more characterful um, or full of character, uh, particularly Artisan. I know they've got a good range, um, and I'll have a look at some of the others as well. So that's the LRDG. And then really the big purchase, and I, I, this will be the subject of some articles that I, I hope to send to Warlord, um, is my Italian army that I wanted to build. And I've really only started here. I've just kind of picked up a few little bits just to kind of get me started, um, do a few test figures, get the colours right, um, and, and then start building up the army. So, first of all, I have the Italian Army HQ set. And I will review these because I'm particularly impressed with how Warlord have done the Italians. Um, I also got the MMG team, which uh, is a Breda MMG team. Um, again, quite pleased with how they've done that. What? Let me explain very quickly what they do that impresses me. With the Italians, because the uniforms are pretty much the same wherever they were, it's just the colour that changes or the headgear. What they've done is they've put the team together and then they've included enough heads for you to do... So the Italian army ones, you get enough heads for uh, normal European uh, theatre and you also get sun hats for the Mediterranean um, and North African uh, campaign. The same with the Italian uh, Army HQ. Um, and in fact, actually, I think what they do is they give you, certainly with this one, I'm not sure with the machine gun team because I think the Bersagulari have their own machine gun team unit. But the Italian Army uh, have heads for the Desert Army, European Army, and I also think you get heads, just looking at it now, for Bursagulari in Europe and Bursagulari in Africa. So that's a lot of spare heads, which means if I ever got hold of some figures that didn't have heads, I'd be okay, or whatever I choose to do with them, who knows. But I, I like the fact that they give you that much options with, with just this one blister pack. Um, often with companies, if you want to do a different set and you have to either get different heads or you have to buy a different set altogether. And this one, you kind of get it and then you can choose. So I like that. Um, and then second, uh, kind of finally, I picked up a couple of uh, Italian Army infantry sections, 10 guys in these. Um, but once again, I actually ordered uh, Italian Army and I ordered uh, an Italian Bersagulari unit. And... What you'll find is that they are the same. So what I'm guessing is that in these, uh, they come with the heads for um, the Bursagulari. And I'm just going to open this up while on camera. This could be embarrassingly bad. Some bases. Aha. Yes. You get figures with lots of heads, um, and I can see the Bursagulari in there, so I'm pretty pleased with that. And it's got, it looks like it's got the same thing as the uh, officer pack. It's got Italian army in Europe, Italian army in Africa, Italian Bursagulari in Europe, and Bursagulari in uh, uh, Africa. So, one box. 40 heads and 10 guys. Fantastic. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting those together. And the fact that I've got uh, two different um, groups, I've got one of regular infantry and one of Bursagulari, will just mix it up a little bit. Not, not a huge amount because, as I said, the uniform colours and the uniforms are the same. So it's not nothing hugely different. Um, but different heads nonetheless so that really concludes uh, this video 
Um, I will be, as I say, doing reviews at some point. Uh, it's it's kind of getting into that time of the year now where I'm getting very busy at work. Um, so it really will be when I when and if I can. Um, and I've got lots going on with the release of my first comic book um, and hopefully the release of my fifth uh, crime fiction um, book very soon. So lots going on um, and I'm really going to have to try to find the time. But um, looking forward to getting these started. Hopefully working on my SAS as well, getting those um, close to finished, if not finished. Um, although I'm going to only finish what I've got. Um, I will probably add some Jeeps to that in the future um, and, and take it from there. Um, and of course my LRDG group, um, or LRDG force, um, I've got the, the vehicles for them now. I just need to get the figures and again that will be in the future uh, unless... I can put some together using the heads, spare heads and some Perry's figures. We'll see how it goes. Um, pretty excited uh, about kind of going off in the desert in a bit of a different tangent, doing more Axis stuff now. Really excited about my Italian army. Um, and then, you know, at some point I will also get my DAC finished off as well. So, really exciting. Um, once again, uh, you know, if, you, if you've watched this video and you've enjoyed it, please like, please comment. Uh, always like to hear your comments. Um, and, and if you like this video or any of the others, uh, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you again in another episode very soon. So, uh, or another video very soon. So, uh, until then, take care and we'll speak to you soon.